Hello everyone, I'm King Evolved, and welcome to the best DLC ranked for ARK. So I'm going to be going all of it in a ranked order. There's about 9 if you count the DLC season passes. So I'm going to be doing that, but yeah, you guys are here for this, so let's get right into it. Number 1, the ARK season pass. It includes 3 DLC for a very low price at times. Always wait to, for uh, Steam sales and Xbox sales and PS4 sales, because the arc is always on sale so you can get this for fairly cheap from $14 to I'm not exactly sure but all around good to buy because you get the three DLC for, for it and you're able to play all of them you know if you play official server you generally want to have all the DLC so you can transfer back and forth from server to server now for number two we're gonna do Ragnarok Ragnarok is a free DLC and it's probably the best map it has a bunch of variety and it has all the resources excluding extinction and aberration. But it has the best base locations and it has a very good variety. Level 150 dinos are extremely easy to find on this map. And it has a it just has a lot of good variety, a lot of base locations. And it is probably my favorite map for Ark and what I would prefer to play on the most out of the however many. <laughs> Number three. Arc Genesis Season Pass. So, this only includes two DLC, but just like the Season Pass for uh, the original, it always goes on sale. Well, majority of the time. So, it includes two DLC that haven't been released yet at the time of this recording. But, you are getting two DLC out of this. Number four, Aberration. It was really just a different type of survival for Arc itself. You're able to go down... You know, there's mushrooms, you're able to go down into the, like, ground. You are underground the majority of the time. There's a surface that you can only go on during night, because you will die if you go up there during the day, because it's scorching hot. And there's so many more things. It has a really amazing variety of biomes that are were new to the game, and they're very different from anything else. The other DLCs have to offer, excluding Extinction. But it's a different side of how art can work, and yeah, it was just an amazing DLC when it dropped. Number five, Extinction. It was extremely cool boss mechanics, large map, good variety, but it felt really pale looking. Like, I don't really like the way the map like quote unquote looks, but it was still a really cool map and it offered one of the probably the most used things now in the game, Cryopods. Cryopods are extremely good and they're one of the big holders for why Extinction is just so good. Number six, Scorched Earth. It's just basically Ark, but in a desert. I, I don't think it has all the, the types of creatures on the map. I don't think it has T-Rexes, but I'm not sure. They took out a few, just like just like they did with the other DLC. And it was just all around fun when it first came out. It is very it isn't played as much anymore, but it is still something really good because Ragnarok, you know, has done a lot better. But it has exclusively the Phoenix on it. It's not the best creature, but it's still cool. Number 7, Valguero. Valgro is a very weird map. The map feels extremely weird, and it wasn't as exciting when it dropped, but it was still fun to play on. The map felt really weird. It was extremely hard to just maneuver around. It just felt like a really weird map that it was really different from what Ark is usually based on, but I was still able to enjoy it and have some fun. Number eight, the center. When it was released, it was extremely fun, and it was, like, played on a ton. Me and my friends played on it. We played on other servers that were like it. And the center was just awesome. But it didn't age well. Uh, when the, the game is updated a lot, and it has a lot of meshing glitches and graphic glitches. When, when it rains and you're in the Redwoods, everything turns purple. I'm pretty sure that's still a problem. I'm not sure, though, by the time of this video. But, yeah. It's not the best DLC, but it's free, just like Valguero is. Number 9, and our last one, but not least, Primitive Plus. Um, well, in all honesty, literally no one plays it. And has a ton of problems and bugs that are rarely fixed. I never actually played Primitive Plus because I never thought it was, you know, any fun. Because it takes out a ton of stuff, and it adds some new stuff. But it takes out so much stuff that just doesn't feel like... there. It doesn't feel like there is progression in the game. Because you're always wood huts. 
And that was everything for this video, so I want to thank you all for watching, and if you did agree with me on this, this was all opinionated on my end. So if you did think these belong in any other orders, please leave them down below. And if you want to say anything else down in the description below, go for it. Just comment that description. But if you do want to join my Discord, you can check in the description below, and follow my Twitter and any of that stuff. Thank you all for watching, drop a like, and I'll see you all next one. Bye-bye.